Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where you are in this amazing world. My name is Donovan Jolly, and welcome everybody once again for another amazing video of DIY Investing. For today's video, I'm gonna be walking you guys through my trading plan for how I go about looking for altcoins, how I manage my trades after I've made profit, and how you guys can actually go about finding these new altcoins and make these same 10x returns that I am as well. People that are finding the low market cap altcoins and understand how to actually manage their trades are gonna be able to find themselves making those 10x returns with high precision, and this is the way that you can make life-changing amounts of money in these markets. If you're new and just finding this channel, always remember to do me a favor by leaving a like comment and subscribing to this channel for more updates always remember to click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos like the one provided for you here and make sure you guys join my discord server of over 20,000 members and growing all you guys got to do to join is to click inside the description of this video and there you're going to find the invitation link to my discord server if you're a new guy getting into these markets and you want an extra study guide i do have a free ebook that's also linked into the description as well this is going to be for new guys that just want to understand how to be more profitable and i know that it's going to help you guys out a lot which is why i've made it free to download links are going to be provided for you in the description and with all that being said guys Let's jump right into this amazing video today. Alrighty guys, so for today's video, I thought that I would shake things up a little bit. I wanted to walk you guys through my actual thought process for how I take trades, how I manage trades, what my thought process is, the things that I look for inside of a trade before taking it. And I'm just going to break this down for you guys because I have a lot of people asking me, you know, how do I look for a trade? Once I take the trade, I'm in profit. How do I know when to sell? You know, what type of profit should I be looking for? How do I manage the profit once I do sell? And all of this stuff. So I thought I'd just give you guys this video to walk you guys through some of my biggest winners in crypto as of recently. Walk you guys through how I bought them, my thought process for taking the trade. One of the disclaimers for this video though, right as we get into it, is I don't want you guys to actually go out and buy any of these cryptos. Most of these I've already taken significant profits on. Um, this isn't a video for me for telling you guys that these are good buys, but if you do wait to the end of this video, I will be giving you guys a free altcoin that I do expect to perform very well that you guys can actually take positions in and trade. Um, but we're going to just walk you guys through all of my details for what it does when I take a trade, how I take it, the thought process that I take when going through everything, and let's just get it right into it with Terra Luna. So Terra Luna was one that we've had a lot of profit off of. I think we're up about 45x is what we closed out so far. Now, we're up about 40x so far. Now, I will say that I have about 75... I will say that I sold 75% of my position down here anywhere from about 12 to a 15x return. And so that's really the where... That was where I took the majority of my profits, but I still am holding some... Um, long term that I'm just going to keep and see what it turns into because I've already made my money back in way more uh, than some and so I'm just going to see what this thing turns into but this is one of my better trades as of recently like I said we're up over 40x and the reason why I took this trade is pretty simple you know overall all I saw here was a correction classic ABC correction with five impulse waves there's wave one there's wave three there's wave five and then what followed and what I found the most valuable here was that this was just an obvious one wave formation. One, two, three, four, five, followed by an ABC, right? When you find this type of a chart pattern, when you find a very clear one wave impulse after an extended correction, you guys should just go ahead and take a position because what comes next after wave one is wave three. And that's exactly what we saw here. Huge parabolic rise. Now, what I will see here is that this to me looks like wave one, Wave three, and now we're working on wave five. Wave five can go way extended. Wave five could top out here. It's hard to say exactly, but even when it does sell off, that only means that this was wave one, this is wave three, and then we'll still get wave five after this. And so what I wanted to share with you guys is how I thought went through my thought process for taking this trade, because it's been a really big winner. And really, all I can say, guys, is I don't know which trade is going to pull the 40x. I have no idea. I never do, and nobody does. All you can do is just get your hand in as many different honey pots as you can and just hope that some of the honey you pull out is magical and gets you that 40x return. But it's not always going to happen. Sometimes you don't make that much money. Sometimes you have to hold a long time before you get that type of a gain. 
but it doesn't change anything. It happens, and when it happens, it's profitable, which is why I'm going to just walk you guys through what I look for when it comes to taking a trade. So not only did I like this chart setup for the fact that it was just a basic one wave impulse, and I knew that what was coming next was wave three, I didn't know it was going to be this parabolic, but it doesn't matter. It happens, and as long as you're prepared, that's all that matters. Now, one of the things I want to keep and keep you guys in the loop of is a lot of people ask me, when do I take profits? How long do I know when to hold? Because here's the thing, it went up so high, no sane person is going to be thinking in their head, oh man, I'm just going to keep holding it or I'm just going to buy more. Most everybody's thinking, ah oh, man, I got to sell. When do I sell? When do I get my profits out of here? And the problem with that is we're at the point of the cycle where markets are going to extend so high that most people are going to make the mistake of selling too early. So one of the ways that I combat this is what I shoot for is like 100% returns. Once I hit 100% returns, I just sell my initial investment because that's a double your money. If I take my position, <clears throat> I make 100% returns, that's a double my money. I just sell what I initially invested, move that into a different position, and then I just have $1,000 of free money or whatever I took the trade with, right? And so this is a way for you guys to just pretty much trade with the house's money. You take a position, you double your money, because doubling your money is really easy in crypto, let's face it. So once you double your money, you take that initial investment out, move it into cash, move it into Bitcoin, move it into something else, and then you just let the rest ride long term. You might nail that 100x return. And if you do, you're just sitting on house money that you just made out of thin air more or less. And if that's the case, you guys set yourself up at a really good advantage over the rest of the market. You don't have to try and predict tops. You don't have to worry about that stuff. Just shoot for the 100% gain and let your profits ride long term. There's a big key factor when it comes to trading and investing. One of the key rules of 12 this is always let your winners ride. Let your winners ride, especially in crypto, because once they start going, they really start going. And you don't want to be the guy that sells too early. Now, even though I sold at about 15x and I would have made 40x had I just hold, you guys don't want to get too greedy with it. And that's just simply put. Don't get greedy. Take your profits and move on to the next trade. Now, another one that we made really good profits off of was actually Chili's. And it was kind of the same thought process of why I took this trade. Now, what I saw here was just a lot of choppy action up, down, up, down, up, down, and, you know, back and forth. But then we got a very clear impulse. One, two, three, four, five, right? And then what followed shortly after was an ABC correction. This classic pattern that you guys are going to be able to find time and time again plays out. And I knew what was coming was wave three. I did not know it was going to be this parabolic. But that's just why we play the game and we just see what happens. Now, I actually took my profits right here at about 20 cents. So I took my profits there, even though this thing ended up going up much higher. So I would have made about 30x returns had I not sold, but I settled for 15x, settled for 15x. Yes, it's not a big deal. I'm thankful for that and I'm not greedy in the slightest. But this is going to be the way it goes, guys. Once the market goes parabolic, we have no way of knowing how high it's going to go. We don't know when the top is going to be. We might use technical analysis to help dictate where we think the market trend is going to shift. But I mean, I took profits at 15x and then it doubled to 30x had I just held. But I don't care because I don't want to get greedy. And this is what I'm saying, guys. Just look for these basic patterns. It was very obvious to tell that there was just a lot of choppy action here. But this was a very clear, obvious one wave impulse. I knew that what was coming was wave three. So I just decided to hold for that. And so... I took 75% of my position here. I still hold about 25%. A common thing that I do is instead of shooting for like 100% gains and then just sell selling my initial investment and letting my profit ride, I'll just hold it for a couple months. And mo more often than not, these things go up way higher than you think. And more often than not, they don't top out as quick as you would like to think. And so I like to hold mine a little bit longer than most people. I have way more patience because at the end of the day, guys, like my crypto portfolio, I'm never taking anything out to pay for any of my stuff. Like it's just money that I trade with and play around with. And so I just let it accumulate over time. But this is another one of those good investments that I paid attention for. One of the things I look for is the lower the market cap, the better. If it has a low market cap, sub 20 million, you guys know that it's going to take a much smaller amount of money to flood into the market cap for it to hit that 10x return. And so you don't really want to go buying a multi-billion dollar market cap crypto expecting that 10x, expecting that 100x return because the amount of money that has to go into the market cap for that to be possible is just honestly not nearly as likely at this point. Not at a multi-billion dollar market cap. Is it possible? More? Yeah, for sure. It's definitely possible. 
But when it comes for me looking for a 10x, a 50x, 100x return, you got to look for the lowest market cap possible because that's going to be the best way for you. Look for the partnerships. One of the quickest ways that I go about doing this is I'll go over here to CoinGecko. I'll actually come over here to CoinGecko and I'll search the coin that I'm thinking of, right? I'll search it, I'll look it up, and from there, I actually know exactly what the market cap is. I can go to their website, I can see if they have any major partnerships, I can see if there's any reputable people working on the project, and if there's any, if I can answer yes to any of those things, then it's usually a solid buy, and more often than not, it's going to give you that 3, 5, 10x return that you're looking for, and oftentimes way bigger than that at the same time. Now, another one that we actually took a trade in was actually Phantom. Now, Phantom's one you guys have probably been hearing a little bit about because it's been pumping significantly. This was actually one of my bigger trades of this entire cycle. This was a 45x that we actually pulled out. And so I'm really comfortable with everything to do with this position. Yes, guys, I did take profits earlier too. Um, I just kind of scale out as we keep going up because like I said, I don't know when the tech the top, the top is going to be. I don't know how parabolic it's going to get. But this was another one of those textbook examples of a one wave. Now this one actually retraced more than this support here. So this can't be a one wave. A one wave can never retrace more than the starting point. So in this case, this was the start of the impulse. This retraced below it. So this can't even be a one wave. But what we see here is the exact same rules apply. Wave one, wave three, wave five, right? And then you get the same classic ABC correction. I'm telling you guys, just watch out for this pattern because you guys are going to be able to buy it and make some really solid profits. And so I actually bought down here at about 15 cents. So I bought this pretty early. I didn't take any profits on this initial move up. I even held throughout this dip. And honestly, I kind of forgot that I was even holding this position for a while. Um, but we actually have made really solid returns off of this one. Like I stated, I think I sold it about 10 to 12 X right during this initial move. And that was probably 50 to 75% of my position like I always do. But I did manage to keep some that I'm still holding. But I did manage to keep a lot that I'm still holding on to. But this was another one of those big time returns, guys. You don't want to miss out on this type of stuff because they are big and they will explode. There's just another one of those class book. This is just a classic example of how parabolic a three wave can get. Classic one wave. And then what followed was the price discovery. You guys can find that and make a significant amount of profit trading those. And so I just want you guys to keep aware of that. The lower market cap, the better. If there's partnerships, even more confirmation to you taking that trade. And that's what I look for, guys. Market cap for... I'll look at the chart first. If it's got a good chart, I'll look at the market cap. If it's got a low market cap, I'll go to the website. If they've got partnerships, there's just further confirmation that this is going to do good. And that's what I take the trade with. Now, another great one that we actually took positions in was Fala Network. And I really, really liked this trade because it was just your classic example of an A, B, C correction, right? A, B, C, I ended up buying it over here at about 10 cents. I added my positions on this sell-off here uh, at about 11 cents, so right there. <clears throat> and so from our re-entry... We're up about 700%. We're up a little bit more than that because we did accumulate slightly cheaper originally. But this is just another one of those classic examples, guys. This one had a low market cap. One of the reasons why I bought this was because I knew it was going to have a lot to do with the whole uh, DOT ecosystem. And if you look into Fallen Network, you'll understand why. There's a lot of partnerships. A lot of the key players that work with DOT are working with Fallen Networks. And it's little things like that, guys. You just have to look through the details, look at the website, because everything's sitting there in plain sight for you to see. It doesn't really require a whole lot of education, doesn't even require a whole lot of research for the most part. All I'm doing is going to CoinGecko and looking at the market cap, then looking back over uh, at the website, and if they have partnerships, if they have a lot of key devs that work on other projects or partnerships, obviously speaking, you guys know what to expect with the price. And this is just another one of those classic examples, guys. There's so many different trades out there that are doing this, have you just, all you guys have to do is just buy when nobody even gives a crap. Not only was this a very obvious ABC correction, but the C wave also had five impulse waves. One, three, five. Very obvious to tell. But then this entire move is a big rounded bottom formation. It's too easy to tell, guys. There's a lot of things pinpointing that this market is bullish. And you would have nailed a pretty decent sized move. And this thing's only going to get more parabolic from here, especially as more of the parachains get announced uh, heading into this, heading into the DOT ecosystem release. <clears throat> so now we get to the final one on the chart today. And this is actually one that I felt was a good buy. I have positions in this right now. In fact, we've actually been talking about this coin for a while. We, I made a video about it here. I made another video about it here. 
and then it started pumping now that it's actually sold back down pretty close to our initial entry what i the reason why i like this this chart so much is because I like the fundamental use case that Parachute has, because that's what this is called, is Parachute. Basically, this allows you to send uh, money through Telegram, send crypto through Telegram Messenger. I think that that's really valuable. I think that that's awesome. That's kind of like email, but for money, which, you know, crypto already is like that. But another thing is it's got a low market cap. One of the other keys that I look for. Now, this one doesn't have partnerships. It doesn't have anything like that. It is built on Polkadot. So it's going to be interoperable, which in my opinion is a, a use case enough. Now, the biggest reason for me liking this is number one, the market cap. And number two, I love how the chart looks. This is your classic example of a big rounded bottom formation, but it's also looking like a cup and handle formation where this is the tops of the cup. This is the handle. And we're about to start the next big move in the cycle. Now, a crypto that actually created the same pattern, because the cup and handle formation is going to be one of the most bullish chart patterns you will ever find in any market. But I've seen it play out in crypto, especially a lot in 2017. And it was one of the most profitable chart patterns that I ever traded. And to be quite honest, it's one of the only chart patterns that I ever trade. Because uh, I'm not really big into chart patterns, right? This is another example. Top of the cup here. Top of the cup here. Rounded bull. Here's the handle. And then what came after was the big, oops, was the big parabolic move, right? And so I'm really expecting the same thing with parachute. No, I don't think it's going to turn into a dash, but the chart will reflect this at some point. And so I figured that this was still a really good buy for you guys, uh, for the people that have waited this long that wanted to actually hear through all of my analysis, hear how I pick trades and what I'm looking for. I mean, for a 10x return off this one, you're looking at about 13 cents approximately. <clears throat> And where it stands right now, that's not very far off, you know. It's not going to take that much money realistically to get it to this point. So I just wanted to give you guys this one as my little reward for you guys to watch the video. You know, we've I've kind of talked about some of my big winners of recently. I didn't even talk about all of them that I had planned out. <clears throat> we talked about Fallen Network. You know, Bancor is one we didn't talk about. But these are all trades, you know, that we've just nailed a ton of money off of been very profitable thus far and i just wanted to talk to you guys about how i go through about taking these trades really all i do i'll look for a chart that looks solid something that hasn't pumped yet i'll go over here to uh, coin gecko i'll search it up once i search it i'll see what the market cap is and if it says anything cool about it you know if it's got a really low market cap something like sub 20 million then that's going to be really attractive for an actual 10x return i'll go over here to their website I'll flip through there, see if they have partnerships, and that's literally all I look for, guys, and I've been able to make a lot of money doing so, and I know that you guys are going to be able to do the exact same thing, so this is why I made this video. Now, for the people that have waited this long, I just wanted to tell you guys that inside of my Discord, I offer two different groups. I offer the video course, and I offer the signals. The video course is going to be 20 educational videos that teach you guys my technical analysis, trading plans, my strategies for how I trade crypto and draw on the charts using technical analysis. And then I also offer the signals. And the signals are just going to be the ability to copy my portfolio where over 80% of my money is invested. You guys are also going to get access to all of the other trades that I take with the 20% of my portfolio, all the low caps, mid caps, other high caps, other research I'm doing into projects. All of that type of stuff is going to get posted to you guys inside of the Discord. And so if you guys want to just follow what I'm doing, you guys already know how much we've been making off the trades. Unfortunately, I don't talk about a lot of these on YouTube because they are secluded for all of my VIPs that are inside of the Discord. And so if you guys want to be able to get the most value for yourself over this cycle, I can just about assure you that I make more returns inside of my group than most other people do out there. You know, a lot of people have been joining my group recently because they've been seeing how good my trades have been doing. And so if this is you, links are going to be provided for you in the description. You guys can purchase them together or separate. If you can only pick one, always go with the signals first because that's going to be the way for you guys to copy my portfolio, cop those, tr copy those trades and make these same gains with me. Now, with all that being said, I do have a free ebook that's also linked in the description. It's going to be free. It's not going to cost you anything, but I've got a lot of really cool information that I know is going to help you out a lot because it's the information I included in there for free that helped me out the most inside of being profitable. So go check that out. Links are provided for you in the description. Go check out that VIP group. And with all that being said, guys, I will catch you in the next video. As always, peace out.